Hello and uh, welcome to my, my app demonstration. It's going to be a quick overview of what is basically a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 survival mode assistant. I'm calling it Wave Master for now. And uh, in survival mode, you face successive waves of enemies, and each wave brings a different combination of enemies, including dogs with explosives, armored divisions, enemy helicopters, and a, an array of soldiers with various guns and chemical warfare and, and you name it. So uh, keeping track of what you will face on each wave can be really difficult and if you're not prepared uh, for the wave you're gonna die really quickly which can be frustrating if you've invested you know like an hour into the game and you die because you're not prepared. Uh, for example if, you, if you're gonna face helicopters on the next wave it's a good idea to go buy a Predator missile so you can take out the helicopters. So it's kinda like knowledge is power type of thing. Um, it seems kind of trivial, but a lot of people are really, uh, you know, spending a lot of time playing this game. There's all kinds of uh, blogs and sites popping up, uh, like this, for example, which goes through, uh, you know, wave by wave for the different tiers and tells you what you can expect to face. Um, I thought, you know, since there's a lot of interest in this and there's a lot of data, uh, it would really fit nicely into, uh, you know, kind of a, a navigation, like a hierarchical, you know, um, display of data. So uh, my app is pretty basic right now. Uh, it's not totally working, but I will show you what I have. Um, I, I incorporated elements of the nav app from the APRES book and some of the you know parse tutorials. Um, the company behind the game keeps releasing new levels, so I wanted my data to come from a dynamic source. I'm still uh, you know ironing out a few kinks, but I'm getting close to an app that'll actually help me do better in the game. Um, you know, if uh, I'm playing, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm playing on, on the Xbox, it, you know, I can really see having my phone sitting next to me with this kind of data a lot more than I could see, like, you know, sitting at a desktop. So that's, that's the idea behind the app. Um, now here's a quick tour of the app. Um, I'll go ahead and run it. And what you'll see here is uh, pretty standard. I haven't done too much stylizing, but... Um, Two sample uh, maps you might face, pretty common ones, Overwatch and Sanctuary. Uh, Sanctuary is kind of my new favorite right now. I was really into Overwatch for a while. So I'll go ahead and select Sanctuary. Takes you to a uh, you know, incomplete list of the waves. Uh, go ahead and select one of the waves. And this is where I'm kind of having trouble. I, I'm, I'm having trouble getting the object to display correctly. But you can actually see here, I'll blow it up a little bit. Um, the, that's what the enemies have on that on that round. They have these shotguns called Model 1887s. So if I go ahead and uh, go back and select a different wave, um, I can see that you know on wave five they have AK-47s. So sort of a work in progress here. But the cool part about my app is, is this. Um, I'll go ahead and stop running it for a second. Um, I can go onto the Parse Data Browser and I can add a new row that would uh, represent a wave. Let's just say there are gonna be tigers. Not that there are tigers in the game, but let's just say you're gonna face tigers on wave seven. Let me click into here and uh, add this real quick. And just like that, Parse goes ahead and uh, updates the object. Come back into my app, run it again, And it pops right in there. And I could even leave it running here and do another one. Um, let's just say we were going to face snakes. That would be cool if there were snakes in the game. At least I think so. And comes uh, already ready to go with the pull to refresh. So there it is, wave 8. And you can see there's snakes on wave 8. So... That's my app. Um, it's a work in progress. I'm excited about it because I think that there there is genuine interest among among gamers or people who spend a lot of time playing this, uh, especially with uh, you know the new Call of Duty Black Ops coming out in November. Um, I think this kind of uh, survival mode with the waves is going to get more and more popular, and hopefully I'll get a little bit better with Objective C and be able to present this data a little more nicely and uh, add some features. But thanks for checking out my app. Have a great day.